Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to TNO, which we're playing with Daddy Sergei Tabby, in which we have the Holy Russian Empire, but we've got a couple events. Uh, I could read about better and district equipment. I believe I might have read that before, maybe not. Uh, but the economy is doing great, and new reforms in industrial subsidizing have resulted in the shipping of updated industrial equipment across the country. Products are being produced quicker and cheaper. The further progress of mechanization into once ossified industrial world will prove a boon to worker and manager alike. No more long, horrible hours. No more soap bar products screwed in by imperfect human hands. Industry continues to march forward. These were a long time coming, however. Increases in budgets and a renewed focus on what our industries are making have increased support for much needed, needed renovation of our country's industrial equipment. Excellent. Ah, oh, that's actually really good, because if you look down here, well, society or academic base is going up by one a month. Research facilities are going up by 0.5 a month. Our agriculture is going down by 0.5. Poverty is actually increasing with minus 0.25. Factory complexes is going up by 2.5. Industrial expertise is going up by 2.75. Plus, uh, yeah, should be 2.75. And then army professionalism is still going up by 5.25 a month, which is pretty good. But we have another journal entry. The Lord shall go forth as a mighty man, a man of war, shall he stir up zeal. He shall shout and cry, he shall prevail against his enemies. Isaiah 42, 13. Truly the war against Russia's foes is one without end. How long have we fought against the people who plague us? A thousand years? Two thousand? Before the Russians came to, tr to the true faith and founded the Kievan Rus. Did we wage wa war unending upon the people of the steeps, the Udmurts, the Komi, and the Finns? My apologies about that, but my cat wanted to leave the room. We must have. War is the means by which the strong thrive and proliferate further. The Russians are not mere survivors. We are conquerors, champions, paragons of civilization. It is for that purpose that we have no need of sly trickery, the likes of which um, uh, Jewish people employ. We have never had to win a war by turning one foe against another. Not once has Russia been defeated by conventional means. The Germans face only our red doppelganger. And we would not have crushed the Japanese in 1911 if Anglo-Jewish interests had not subverted our glorious navy. Oh, okay. Uh, we can't let it happen again. We came so close to total destruction during the Civil War. If God had not favored me, I would have not have survived this accursed Republic's intrigues alone. We need to be stronger, much stronger. We have to match the Germans at the very least, but even that may not be strong enough. Jewish subterfuge grows more complex by the day. They have plans within plans, schemes within layer upon layer of contingencies and threats. If we waver in our duty, the red tide will rise again at the bidding of the Zion's elders to destroy all we hold dear once more. Blessed are the war makers. Okay. You know, regardless, we'll do wages of sin. Romans 6.23, for the wages of sin is death. We tire of mercy. We tire of traitors going free because their crimes were judged to be insignificant by a soft-spined judge. We tire of our soldiers who, with faithless gripping their hearts, refuse to bring down the ex executioner's blade on a Jewish neck. We tire of the doubters, dissenters, and rabble-rousers in our own inner circle who whisper of treachery and deviancy behind our back. Yet, they still demand it of us, the devil citing scripture to his purpose. Death is a mercy. And the clock speeds up, which we are currently... On 8th hour, steadily grinding forwards. Consider destiny, we don't need to, need to do that yet. We have 80 political power, and we will soon be at war with Kazakhstan. And I have a good feeling we'll probably do pretty well. Let's go ahead and destroy the traitor's body. Lenin's body is gone. Prepare for unification war, and which will happen in 71. Vladimir Lenin, the father of the Soviet Union and the architect of Russia's collapse and warlordism, shall thrive no longer as a symbol of communist indulgence and decline. His body has been burned to ash, and the ashes thrown into Russia's untouched wilds. Although others may cling to the ideas his corpse rep represented, we will see to it that Lenin, as one of the most prominent leaders in Russian history, no longer remains true. Lenin was a man, and even if that, who toppled our nation for a short period of time. Nothing more, nothing less. A short-lived leader with strange ideas, nothing new. Uh, get 1.53 political power a day, but that's only because we have some our focus done. <coughs> Empire Eternum. Holy Russia is the true kingdom of God on earth. We are utterly unassailable, preserved by the blessing of the Lord. Even the Israel of old pales before glory. There's nothing wrought by man that can threaten us. No weapon can strike us down. No illness can take our regent. No obstacle can impede our quest to find the Tsarevich. He lives. We live. Holy Russia lives, as it has always has and always will, the only pure nation upon this benighted earth. Very cool. Uh, let's see, someone was asking me in the last video what our monthly population rate was. Well, we get 25 people a month out of a population of 32.5 million. So, yeah, that's not good. That's really not good. Yeah. Uh, currently get 0.53 political power a day. So be it, even though there's not really much for us to do with political power anymore except for this stuff. Race for Kazakhstan, continue our destiny. We're pretty much done with everything. 
as we're waiting for the Far East to wrap up the rewards, which they're taking quite a while. And Nova Sibirsk is probably going to die. Probably. Oh, they have only four to six divisions. That's so sad. Holy cow. Uh, People's Council has only three. The Far Eastern Republic has 23 to 33, which is not bad. I think with us compared to them, I think we'll probably do pretty well against them. But all we have left is Arsenal of Damocles. Western Siberia and its vast, heaven sent resources have finally been annexed into the Regency's uh, dem demence. Uh, this is cause for celebration, for now we have all that we need to advance our special weapons program to the next stage of development. Our, our enemies had their own biological weapons program. Better yet, we have, have facilities to make use of their designs in the now liberated judeo plutocratic state of Zlatost. Their new instruments of death will be forged with which to scour the lands of evil. Eva onwards. Tab Risky sat upon his throne for the first time in months. Fingers steepled. Uh, steepled and legs crossed, he stared out into the empty throne room before him. It was the middle of the day, yet no one came to the regent's palace anymore unless they had to. That struck him as curious. Where were the petitioners and the mothers asking to bless their children? Where were the generals kneeling before him with the great news of conquest? <clears throat> Where was his trusted spy master with news of Tsarevich Alexei's whereabouts? More than the physical isolation, Tabritsky also had a gut feeling that something was wrong within the throne room. He had first sensed it months ago and had kept him confined to his study ever since, but today, today, he know, he had to know if it was real, if his mind was just playing tricks on him, and indeed there was loneliness. Not with the absence of people, but of God. In that throne room, with his golden throne and gilded mosaic-covered ceiling, God seemed curiously absent. Goosebumps ran up, tap, uh, Goosebumps ran up Tabaritsky's spine as he contemplated the thought. It wasn't possible. All he had done, he had done for God, Russia and the Tsarevich. He couldn't be alone, he could have made, his, made a mistake. The regent leapt for leapt from his throne, suddenly disturbed and trembling. Abject terror filled his body and turned to his blood to ice, but he hadn't any idea why. Striding from the throne room and back to his study, he slumped down in front of the hearth, gazing into the flames, and a spark of doubt flickered in his soul. I believe, or I beheld, a pale horse. The clock strikes once. Ninth hour steadily grinding forward. Journal entry. For the, the desire of money is the root of all evils, which some coveting have erred from the faith and have entangled themselves in many sorrows. 1 Timothy 6.10 Money, money, money. It's all my advisors talk about, as though it's most worth worrying about at all. Would that the very idea of currency had never come into being. Zionists, Zionists might never have been a nuisance if that had been the case. One admits it is a pleasant thought. History without Jews, a world ruled only by those appointed by God, or at least by the deserving. But it's a fool's hope to wish for money to be abolished. It has become humanity's hereditary curse, as inextricably tied to our existence as original sin. One simply has to bear it and pray for deliverance. But that aside, the sheer obsession of so many in Russia with money is abhorrent. Everything is about cost, about budgeting, about affordability, and the economics. One has had quite enough of these self-proclaimed experts telling one what to do. We are Russia. We don't need Swiss watches or American cars to sustain ourselves. We don't need to make ourselves dependent on lesser nations to succeed. Why, one wonders, does anyone even suggest such a thing? Do they think nothing of consequences? The moment we engage with international Jewish finance, they will have their claws in us again. I have not fought and bled and killed for Russia to fall victim to Hebrew predations yet again. Perhaps they are merely misguided, or perhaps not. Certain uncertainty as the heaviest burden of all. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Give me conniptions. Russia must stand alone. But at least we get to get a war, right? Cool. The budget is not too bad. We just currently have minus, well, technically 14 billion every year in deficit. That's all. That's all. Yeah, we are not going to struggle here at all. We don't even have the, oh, there it is. The war screen. We've lost 17 versus 3,000. Oh, they actually do have up to 13 divisions now. Earlier they had like five in the last episode, so. Mm. Nice. What are we building? More civilian, even some nuclear stuff. Not bad, not bad. Build more. Build, build, build. And we're still demobilizing, which is not ideal. We've got to save our political power up to hopefully core Kazakhstan, though. Nice. The awesome of Damocles. New concoctions? Ooh, we have more supply consumption, which I don't like. Less division recovery rate by 15%. We'll get more attack and defense in core territory. No lives wasted. Let's do this one. Skyward Swords. They deliver divine punishment from long range is a beautiful thing. The Germans, Japanese, and Americans all possess the capability or capacity to, to destroy one another in an instant. They each have an arsenal of nuclear missiles which combined could raise the entire continent in a storm of atomic fire. Despite protestations to the contrary, they probably also have similar systems for the delivery of chemical and biological agents. Our own rocketry program should be made a priority. With the right funding and resources, we can build an arsenal that would allow us to engulf entire nations in clouds of billowing toxic death. Ah, oh, so much fun. Let's see. 
This costs political power too? Oh no. Increases theoretical development 10%. Oh yeah, I was going to do that one. It helps our research. We're not going to have a base, really. Yeah, a little more GDP, not bad, not bad. I'm, a, I'm avoiding this so we don't have to use factory support for now. Still 69. Let's get up to more engineers. Yeah, like I said in the earlier episode in this campaign, I did want to use helicopters, but that just didn't turn out the way I wanted to, so. After that, we shall do <clears throat> sacrificial lambs. Testing chemical weapons in a laboratory is simple. With a press of a button, one can immediately see the effects on a human body. Adjustments can be made on the fly without any of the difficulties involved in testing something like a rocket. For that, we require suitable targets, and of course, our own subjects are not suitable for this purpose. Thankfully, just over the southern border of our realm, there's a land filled with nothing but degenerate barbarians. Their crude villages dotted along the frontier are oblivious to our might, and far from anyone who might protect them. Surely, we speak for everyone when we ask, who will miss them? And I know I let time go on without doing research, but whatever. At this point, I don't think it really matters too much. Also, and I went on to get to that war quickly, because we are done with the land auction. Finally, cool. Anything for artillery here? Yes, please. 42 days, which is perfect for us. So it was recommended by someone, yeah, from the comments from yesterday, that we should use elite infantry instead, because we are, have a limited amount of manpower. Ooh, ooh. I'll get rid of this one, because we can. 40s? So if I changed you to elite infantry, we would actually lower our defense by 13. We get slightly more soft attack, hard attack. We actually use less supplies, more organization, but less HP. And they're more reliable. I never use these guys. Can we afford that? Ooh, you know what? I don't know if we can convert everything over. But we can try it. There's a slight difference. Because this has... If you look at the pixel count, it looks a little different. Let's just do it like that. We'll throw in three. Cool. A journal entry. Another one. Why not? Oh, what are we missing? Main battle tanks. Anything else? That was like something else that we were missing. IFVs, whatever. Cool. Now it came to pass in the 30th year. The yeah, 30th year, in the fourth month, on the day, fifth day of the month, when I was in the midst of the captives by the river Chobar, the heavens were opened and I saw the visions of God, Ezekiel 1 1. As I read, dawn is just to come. The streets are silent. The night guard still on duty had to order their sergeant to make tea in the servant's absence, no matter. Much to note down that I might remember. The skies were present in my dreams tonight, though thought I glimpsed them before falling asleep, but I couldn't be certain. When sleep took me, and I was adrift in a twisting nether, I saw them splayed out above me, connecting the points of light far overhead. I thought they might just be words, but my literacy abandoned me. No message, just a jumble of indiscernible scrawlings. Just a meaningless dream? No. The patterns have never held falsehoods before. Interference? Possible. But not in the medium between oneself and God. None possess that power. Sorcery? Absurd. No, perhaps my vision is obscured through some thought of my own. No, I've done all that I possibly can to ensure God's favor. Not a punishment. Hostile interference. The work of a man. I can't be certain, no, but that could be the case. If so, I have been careless. But of course, they've been with me for so long. Why did I take why did I take that to mean a loyalty? I shall require new servants. Oh boy. And now we've got to integrate this stuff. Maybe we should not have done Project Molinia. Then I did then again I did want to get this for academic base, so. Oh, we need to integrate places because that hurts our manpower too. Are we still demobilizing? Yes, we are. Oh my goodness. We are at effective total manpower at 63%. Hey, we get a recruitable po monthly population of 1.4, though. That's not bad. That's all, actually a lot better than before. That's actually quite a bit better. All right. Oh, oh Orochia. Orochia? Yeah, Orochia. They're still here, but they're still fighting, so... I don't think they'll last that long with no manpower in two to four divisions. How do you have one in three divisions? What the heck? Sacrificial lambs? Nice. A spark. Recently, we've become enlightened to the existence of our territory of a particular element that has deeply intrigued the region. Uranium, a relatively abundant radioactive material that serves as the basis for that which previously lay beyond reach. Nuclear power. The region is positively giddy with excitement, as are most of his loyal subjects. He has directed large numbers of slaves and all requisite equipment to Omsk, where the largest deposits have been found. Today, we take the first steps toward our acquisition of the ultimate weapon. Ooh, monthly progress gain and civilian factory. That'll help the GDP out, right? Let's see. Hey, 15 billion, that's all. Only 15 billion. Only half a political power a day. Not bad, and it's almost 1970, everyone. Hope you're enjoying the Holy Russian Empire, because, well, I'm not sure how many bodies are really left here. That says 32 and a half million, which it looks like the population actually went down. I thought it was 32.6. Okay, well, I guess that makes sense why population went down. Hmm. Just going to do this weapon improvement with uh, 9. Even more soft attack. Not that great, but whatever. 
Let's go ahead and core. Is this? Oh, that's a lot of. There's a lot of people down here. Oral. Ah, I'll do oral because we can. Yurolsk. Nice. That help us with maybe factories. We'll lose some stability. Oh boy. And political power, but we get any corn on that area, which would be nice. 0.43, so be it. The Spock. Recover lost knowledge. It is said that the Bolsheviks, probably following the urging of the genocidal Jewish overlords, were experimenting with the nuclear power before the Germans' invasion. We should thank God that neither they nor the prolific West attained such power before the German before the Germans did. As a result of the Soviet collapse, the scientists involved in the nuclear program scattered to the winds, and some have been found hiding amongst the region's own subjects. Their knowledge will be put at our disposal, one way or the other. Scientists are frail, feeble men without the will to endure inter interrogation. If they will not work for us, we can at least extract the information we need to educate their more loyal colleagues. Oh, bonuses for technology. Not bad, don't mind if we do. Happy 1970, everyone! We still gotta wait pretty much an entire another year before we can go to war with these guys, which kind of sucks, but, you know, whatever. Ah, uh, I wish we could get Noble Sobiosk right now, but that's fine. Project Base Fleet. Hey, we've got a lot of stability right now. Let's come back to industry and build some more civilian factories. Very good. Hey, Oroshio. 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 I don't know. Nova Sibiris is about to fall anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Cool. And new concoctions. Phosphine, mustard gas... A phosgene, or mustard gas, are and are all capable and useful tools in our arsenal. Well, these ingenious chemical weapons, entire cities have been subdued, and thousands of noisome parasites have been exterminated. The region believes that yet more deadly secrets remain to be discovered, and has ordered our chemists and engineers to begin experimentation at once. There are ample supplies of materials at hand, and plenty of learned men who could be pressed into service. Hey, removes removes significant arsenal. Cool, but that kind of hurts us. We're really good on core territory, though. It's kind of nice. All right, you bunch of authoritarian socialists. Plenty of manpower now for them. Like us. They definitely have more divisions, but that they probably might need them, maybe? Cool. Military austerity? Uh, I don't mind if we do. Cool. Journal entry of these things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you shall have distress, but confidence I have overcome the world. John 16.33 One's mind is greatly eased as a result of the recent altercations or alterations to one's home. It is much quieter now. The new servants are much more agreeable, less inclined to idle chatter, more importantly, less inclined to idle hands. It felt as though every pair of hands besides one own was idle before now, and every man knows that the devil has a multitude of uses for such things. Replacement of the pre previous palatial staff was not as easy to one had hoped. They've been trained well, utterly injured to pain, or inured to pain. But the Stremoviki were trained better. No one hoped. No, no, no one knew that one of them would break eventually. No amount of Jewish brainwashing can render one immune to the lash of divine truth. But so, now they plague Russia no longer. Our blessed Tsarevich will never need to fear unfaithful servants with the lessons that his region has imparted today. The natural order has been disrupted for so long that one is inclined to forget the servants are a class unto themselves. They have an alarming tendency to, towards laxity and corruption when spared the whip for too long. Sometimes, as recently, the gangrenous, uh, gangrenous presence of treason goes unnoticed and sets in. At that point, there is little use in delicate surgery. One must bring forth the saws and cauterizing flame and set about the task with ruthless efficiency. The trick is to slice deep and ignore the spurting blood. Oh, jeez. Kind of a... Uh kind of a uh, graphic there. Maybe I should re mark this PG-13? I don't know about PG-13. No what? No no wives wasted? Oh man. No lives wasted. Not all slaves are useful workers. There are plenty who refuse to take up their tools and make a habit of trying to escape or simply lack the strength to survive harder. Or survive hard labor. Uh, the usual solution to these problematic individuals is a bullet to the back of the head, but the region has devised a brilliant alternative. Any scientific endeavor requires test subjects. We hear that in a degenerate nations like America, small rodents are preferred. Their scientists are weak, feeble. Ours recognize that a very specific kind of rat makes for far more interesting and reliable subjects. Oh, crud. Oh, my goodness. Well, at least we have no laws against it. And that's what matters. We're gonna actually probably going to do Pavlodar first, just because I want to get that as a core. So when we do go to war eventually... Um, we get an attack and defense bonus on it, so. <sighs> Gotta love it. Points, five, cool. We should have that within, like, eight days, even though we might get this done first. But let's do the next one. Heaven's Light! Our enemies shall be swept away by our divine ra radiance. Ooh, single weapon, non-nuclear. Oh, crap. God favor us. He has granted us the knowledge of with which we can build our very own sword of Damocles. We begin along the path leading to that which the blessed region has sought for so long, a weapon to surpass all others. 
When Tsar Alexei assumes the throne, his rule will be unassailable by mortal men. Any threat to his sacred demence, oh, demence, yeah, will be met with unrelenting nuclear firestorm like, uh, the likes of which none could ever hope to match. Never again, not from the, not, not from now until the end of time, will Bolsheviks, Jews, subhumans, or traitors even ever threaten the Holy Russian Empire. God wills it. Cool. A cruel sort of alchemy. A report on the effectiveness of experimental compound C32-44, a.k.a. Tolbarite. Summary. Twelve test subjects were introduced to the testing chamber, all individuals from different racial backgrounds. All were in fine health and of young age, ranging from 18 or 15 to 30. Subjects demonstrated confusion and some degree of resistance, likely owing to the good physical status. Compound C3244 was introduced via pump 30 seconds after chamber door was sealed. Effects were immediately and drastic. Uh, dense nature of the gas caused rapid onset of symptoms. Coughing and shortness of breath began almost immediately after exposure. Subjects began coughing blood, luckily showing breakdown of lung tissue. Corrosive nature of compound was readily apparent. Skin began to burn and blister less than 30 seconds after exposure. Close inspection revealed that gums were bleeding, and skin appeared to be actively dissolving at a slow rate. All 12 subjects were confirmed to cease within 3 minutes. Wow. Uncertain of what dense, denseness of gases required to cause rapid corrosion of organic matter, but the rapid onset of the desired symptom is a promising sign. Subjects continue to rapidly disintegrate after death. Test chamber has yet to be cleaned, as no one has a stomach to enter, and we are unable to drain the thick organic slurry that is formed from the flesh, blood, and organs of the deceased subjects. God save the regent. Our regent is a great patron of sciences. Jesus, that is even even more graphic. But whatever. The clock has struck the twelfth hour, picking up speed forwards. Oh no. Um, as much as I want to course off, I want to consider our destiny. But once we're done with this focus, we'll get a lot more political power. So I'm not too, really too worried about that. We're pretty good on stability, though. We made us a very stable nation, despite poverty increasing now, as well as agricultural agricultural uh, efforts getting worse. But hey, as long as the army professionalism stays up, great. And another division, don't mind if we do. Uh, just throw you right there, that's fine. If that's the case, I'm going to make sure we deploy you guys close to here. And if anything, manpower still going down, that's not good. Heaven's light, beautiful. Alright, and I think we're done with the focus tree for now. So, I want to say I'm going to do stuff off-screen just to get to the point where we can go to war. But we're, I don't want to do that because there might be other events that we need to read regarding Tabritsky's mad descent into, well, finding Alexei and purging the world of its wickedness. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Jeez. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Hey, we just built a nuclear reactor just in case. Are we still demobilizing? No, we actually are not demobilizing. 1.8% of population. Quarter million. We can win with a quarter million. That's pretty easy. Consider destiny. Let's do that just in case. Knowledge is power. And then we'll come down here and continue to core more stuff. Once we core everything, though, we'll do Project Molinia. And it shouldn't take too long to actually get to the next year because, well, we're done with focuses for now. Research goes on. And so be it. It doesn't matter to me. Let's grab some more output. Journal entry. Come down, sit in the dust, O oh virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne for the daughter of Chaldeans, for thou shalt no longer be called delicate and tender. Isaiah 47.1 The designer of the modern woman knows no bounds. Even before the arrival of the Red Judas, the Jews were corrupting the fairer sex with cosmopolitan ideas. The majority of Russian women have fully accepted the degeneration of their nature that was encouraged by the Bolsheviks. Fully half of our na nation's population has been transfigured into hordes of Babylon, all venom and rebellion. One despairs at this affront to God, but one cannot retreat in the face of evil. All pure Russians must stand shoulder to shoulder against the libertine devil tree that has corrupted our women. No longer shall we as godly men with a fire of faith and tradition in our hearts allow our wives, sisters, and daughters to prostitute themselves in the streets or spread their legs for subhuman beasts. Why did my accent change? The Lord thus commanded the Israelites, the woman that shall lie under any beast shall be killed together with the same. Their blood shall be upon them. Let it be the same for the descendants of the chosen people. Let the filth and sin of modern women be scourged away with stone and steel and fire. She must be brought to heal and confined to her God-given place in the world. Wives, be subjects to your husbands as it behooveth in the Lord. Cool. We'll see what happens. <laughs> hey, there we go. Uh, Octau? Cool. Nice. Better engineers, let's come back over here and do this. Military construction speed, just in case we need it. Just in case. 1.42 is not bad every day. Not bad. Actually, yeah, there's Lenin's body. Oh, Lenin's body's destroyed. We actually got more political power and war support from that. So we normally have 51% stability. Huh, that's not good. Division attack on core territory. That is really awesome. I don't like the last war support, though, and the division recovery rate, as well as more supply consumption. That's just no bueno in my book, but whatever. That's just me. That's just me. The clockwork. 13th hour is picking up speed forwards. Oh, God, no. No, 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 no. Are you guys seriously still training that much? 
How many more guys do you have to train? There's one, two, three. Oh, obviously we're out of tanks, but that's fine, whatever. It's already April, uh, technically, F. This game is lagging. May 1st, so that's not too bad. Tanks not gonna do bad, not too bad at all. IFBs, uh, we don't really care about these. Goodbye. Mm, interceptors, I don't want to see this garbage. Nah, we good. Cool. Here we go. Another one. Which will give us more factories and manpower to, to get some stuff. So, that, so that'll be good. We're doing really well on this stuff. We're doing really well on guns. Artillery's looking pretty good as well. Let's just grab cap growth. 15% output. Yes, I have to. Tokyo standoff. Has the Empire of Japan gone mad? Well, probably. Nice. Another tank is done. Beautiful. 1.32 a day. Not great. Plenty of fuel. Actually, you know what? Let's go and grab some air bases down here. And up here just in case. Because we're probably going to need them eventually. Money-wise, how are we doing? 30.3 billion spent on construction spending. Or civilian spending, I should say. Civilian spending. Which, yeah, could be worse. Whatever. Integrate Krom Tao. Military austerity? No, thank you. It's already June 1st. It's by very quickly once you don't have any more focuses... Or that much research to do, so. And research should be done soon. Well, actually not soon at all. Journal entry. But the Lord is with me as a strong warrior. Therefore, they that, that persecute me shall fall and shall be weak. They shall be greatly confounded. Because they have not understood that the everlasting reproach, which never shall be effaced. Jeremiah 20, 11. Soldierly conduct. Such a farcical notion. Could the Germans ever have triumphed over the Bolsheviks had they not rid themselves of the fetters imposed upon them by Zionist international law? No. They recognized the falsehoods and obscuritanism uh, that kept the Jews and their minions safe from righteous retaliation. They wisely set aside their compassion, steal themselves for what needed to be done. And yet Christ's own soldiers remain constrained. The manacles of Jewish weakness stay their feet. How can Tsarvish Alexei ever hope to sleep soundly, knowing that his defenders lack this courage to see battles through to the very end? These feeble tendencies must be uprooted. The soil of Russian manhood must be watered with the blood of heretics, heathens, and subhumans. The emperor's men must have hearts of iron, souls of cold steel, minds like machines. A soldier of Christ in the empire should feel not but hate for his foe, for any who stand against Russia stand against all that is good and pure. They insult both man and God. They both only serve the devil and his Semitic offspring. One ceased with anger at the staid Jewish morality that shackled us. How is one to expunge this evil from the hearts of one's subjects? Why don't they just follow orders? Because they choose not to. And we're almost done. Almaty. Almaty. And get a corner on that as on Alma Alma Atta and Kiziloda. Kiz I have no idea how to pronounce that. I'm not Kazakh at all, but it is what it is. Hmm. We're already on the 14th hour picking up speed forwards. No, 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 no. However, before even I began this campaign, the very, before the very first episode, I knew that someone told me that to try a special event to see what happens because it gets crazy. Um, I think we'll still be successful, but I want to try this one event in this episode when we get everything unified because I want to see what happens. We'll put it like that. We want to see what happens. And man, we build factories not fast enough. But they're doing okay. They're doing the best they can right now. But they better meet the production quotas, or Taborizky's not going to like them very much. You don't want to disappoint Daddy Tabby. Ooh, we're almost done coring stuff. Great. Consider our destiny. I kind of want to... This doesn't necessarily slow it down. Maybe it will, but let's keep doing this stuff. A scientist. Study foreign development. That's not bad. Oh, yeah. Research facilities. We'll probably save up for that one. If we get to the 15th hour, I'm going to consider our destiny immediately. It's only July 10th, so it's not bad, not bad. Hmm. What if I wanted to convert more of you guys? We got more than enough now. Right? We should. Because I haven't taken anything off of anti tanks, so we're doing pretty well. Free military factories? Yeah, we could put more on there, I suppose. Put five there first. At least one more, I suppose. And then put five more over here. Iraq collapses into civil war. Oh, crap. That's going to hurt our uh, budget, probably, but whatever. Research grants. Very good. Oil crisis. Well, that sucks. Black gold, red sand. What more could you love? Uh, are we actually affected by that at all? Probably not. Nice. Very nice. Over here, uh, research facilities are going up. Awesome. 
Do not your destruction is come from upon thee that the dwells in the land. The time is come, the day of the slaughter is near, and not the joy of mountains. Uh, Ezekiel 7 7. I just woke in sweating in awe. I beheld such sublime sights in the sky tonight. My mind trembled or tumbled through the ages. The river flamed flowing in his verse. I held a harsh arid land populated by a hardy warrior people and knew that it was Israel. Legions of men shining with God's light marched forth as the Ark of the Covenant in their midst. At their head was a man who could only have been the great warlord Joshua. Like Joshua Graham? I watched as they fell upon the land of Canaan. They raised thirty-two cities to ash and bore away the heathens' gold, silver, and jewels to Israel. The blood of unbelievers ran knee-deep through the streets of Jer Jericho. As a pure race indulged in the blessings of victory, won through righteous struggle against a subhuman foe. I am resolved to the new course. We, the Russians, the pure Russians, are the chosen race, as I always believed. We are the people of Moses. Our legacy usurped by Judeo, Khazar, Mongols. We are the purest and greatest of all nations and others. They are Canaan. And I will be our Joshua. Joshua Graham, the burn man? Kazar. Kazar, milkers, man. 15th hour. Let's slow it down if we can. Maybe, maybe not. It's already August, so I have no idea. Not as we going because we can't. Advanced development phase. We like to do that. So it looks like we're not really affected by the oil crisis, which is good. Because we're affected by more than enough stuff already. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. One, two, three on separate lines already. Not bad, not bad. But. Iraq has defeated Iraq. Good job, Iraq. Good. Build, build, build. Hey, and as you build more civilian factories, the cost goes down more and more, which is really nice. If I slash civilian spending by 15%, 15% of 30 billion is like four some, maybe roughly 5 billion. So even then, if I slash it, we still have quite a deficit. So I could raise spending or because so that we can uh, get even more political power every day, but eh, that's not really worth it. We currently have 28 divisions, which is not bad. That should be enough against these guys. Should be. They have ha less than half the factories. They have quite a few divisions, but we do have planes. Plenty of, of an air force, hopefully, against potential enemies. Crisis in Nanjing, pray they survive. Well, depends on who you ask, really. Go ahead and train. When you can. Cass? Yes. Good. Steady foreign developments? Good. We could always decrease black market luxury training. Oh, we need more political power, but to do that, uh, that'd be fine. 44%? So be it. If we need to move the line around, that's fine with me. There we go. Honestly, with a quarter million population, even though we've taken so many hits to our monthly population and manpower not bad really not that bad 29 divisions not bad military austerity it is already October 1st 1970 so we're, we're pushing through these months very fast nice then is body destroyed no we lost political power we lost war support god dang it journal entry and Saul said to him why have you conspired against me thou the son of his I is I uh, and thou hast given him bread and a sword, and hast consulted the Lord for him, and that he should rise up against me, continuing a traitor to this day. 1 Samuel 22.13 Set back to the eternal struggle. The Sturmoviki have been most disappointing as of late. Last week they lost a convoy of 300 Jews, making for the Finnish border. How does one lose its sight of an entire convoy? We are not in foreign territory. Every true Russian knows his homeland is like he does his palm. Disobedience. It has to be. What other explanation could suffice? Was it born from a softness of heart or from a fistful of gold slathered in honeyed words? The unit responsible has yet to present itself for punishment. Have, have to send their own fellows out to find them. Yet, more work. More time spent chasing down traitors when we should be cleansing Russia. And this vexation is my lot, it seems. This cannot continue. Sarvesh Alexei cannot rule without loyal and competent servants to delegate responsibilities to Jewish agents have infiltrated the imperial household easily enough. How deep does their influence run elsewhere? Have to dig deeper. Establish new levels of oversight with trusted men. Why must they torment us so? Yeah, Alexei. Uh, I don't know, man. You want to take a chill pill? You want you, you get a, like a nice drink or something? Go get a, go get a drink. Well, he probably wouldn't want a drink. That's probably too not pure enough. But you know, whatever. Just tabby doing tabby things. Not to really infantry cool. And we should did that all this uh, did that stuff. Maybe, actually, we've done not even plane stuff yet. Jet engines? Why not? Garrisons, now we go with about garrisons. This one's as normal infantry, elites, elites. 
Do we have enough for this? Yes. 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 So I'm gonna keep an eye on that stuff. Cool. Oh, we already had those as elites. Elites, elites, infantry becomes elite. So, you know, very elite infantry. 40 combo with infantry. So, if someone wanted me to change all this stuff up. I've done it. So, we got less defense, but eh, whatever. We got plenty of organization. HP is okay. Elites, 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 elites. Beautiful. Now, if everyone trained if they need to, which they probably need to. Cool. 16th hour picking up speed forwards. It's already November. Can you believe that? Wow. Consider our destiny. We could do that again, but I kind of want to see what happens here. Oh, decrease the trading. That'll be good. No more foreign interference. Theoretical development. Slow. Progress is very slow. Cool. 293, not enough. Budget wise? Hey, 13.8. Not bad. Of course, we spend so much time building up so many factories. There you go. And over here, we'll have better infrastructure later on. As we are trying to improve ourselves as much as possible. 120 billion? Not bad. That's pretty good. Of course, 50 billion in debt is not ideal, but, you know, whatever. Whatever. It's almost December, too. Look at that. It's almost December. And we're almost ready to go to war with the Siberian Black Army. How, uh, are the planes done yet? They're getting close. They're getting quite close, actually, which would be awesome. 16th hour still. Journal entry. And in the midst of the church, she shall open his mouth and shall fill him with the spirit of wisdom and understanding and shall clothe him with a robe of glory. Sirach 15.5. The sermons spoken in his imperial majesty's churches are not what they should be. There's a vapidity about her clergymen, a miasma of apathy. There's no fire in their speech, no exhortations to carry out the Lord's work. They speak to the commoners of simple virtues, daily matters, and pointless distractions. Where is the heat and the hate? Where is the passionate ardor of the true believer? Where is the hellfire and brimstone to cajole the wretched sinner from his wicked torpor? Has the Holy Spirit abandoned our men of the cloth, or is the inverse the case? To what or to whom do they owe their survival under the Bolsheviks, if that is the case? Could the ghost of Judas haunt even the mother church itself? Are the great, great cathedrals of Russia bedecked in gold delivered by Jewish hands? I cannot be certain, but then why did they not take flight? with the whites, abandoning this benighted land. Why stay and tolerate Bolshevik rule? I should to think of the implications. I must sleep with one eye open until I can be certain of the clergy's loyalty. Have the Pharisees returned? I'm going to say probably not, but you never know. You never know. Maybe we have nothing but Pharisees here. We're almost halfway through December. By the time we get to 71, we're going to prepare for the unification war. I'm ready. We're ready for it. We just got two more factories, which is great. We got plenty of fuel, plenty of command power. We are ready to just blitz, blitz, blitz. And actually, you guys are all done training. The tanks are probably... No, no, no. The tanks are done. We have a very, very strong... Not a huge, but a very, very strong fighting force right now. 17th hour. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Another factory has just been made. Beautiful. Let's keep at least two going on at all times. Four... Wow. Only one, 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 four, six. Wow. Yep, if you make more civilian factories, debt continues to go down. Or the amount of deaths that actually goes down. Beautiful. Happy January 1st, my friends. Cold days. Unfortunately, uh, going by the recent actions, it seems that all the hopes of peace with the Siberian Soviet Socialist Republic has been dashed in an announcement from Irkutsk. The Siberian state has claimed that we are an illegitimate state that stands in our way on their path to reunify all of Russia. Following this declaration of hostility, they have expelled all of our citizens within their borders. As our military stands or starts to mobilize or in clouds of circle the horizon, it seems that our conflict of interest shall be settled on the battlefield rather than at the negotiating table worrying, which we said earlier, a grand showdown. Uh, if you want to read about this, yeah, I think we've already kind of read this. We must begin preparing for a war that will challenge our military, unlike all other wars that have come before us. Shall fall, the final conflict. Cool. Hmm, I honestly don't really care, so let's, oh yeah, this will help us with, oh wow, not, this went down again. Let's grab this, we more manpower, gain less war support for them, that'll be good. We get political power. More infrastructure, yes, for the love of God, yes. Factories, we don't really need that. We can do that one. And then, automate techniques, forts, forts are nice. I'll grab that one too. Just let time go on. All right, engineering, don't want to forget this. Integrated circuit computing, only 66 days, not bad. So much political power. Oh, uh, we can do our destiny again. Because we can't, why not? Can't do any more of this stuff too, so. 17th hour. What a shame. 
We can only get how much political power or command power day? 0.6. That is not much. We get 1% more from war support. Wow. So I guess 50% is kind of the middling ground. Wow. 317 factories? Obviously not enough. 100%, 100%, 100%, 100%. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Beautiful, glorious. Keep building, keep building. Debt is but an A twelve point two five, not bad. Keep it like that for now. We'll be okay. So, we don't use normal infantry. We are just nothing, nothing but elites. And we have twenty nine divisions, which is pretty darn good. We're missing a few fires, but that's just because we're training right now. Uh, come over here. Yeah, you're almost done. You guys are done, so that's good. Journal entry, but if any of you want wisdom, let him ask God who giveth to all men abundantly, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given to him. James 1, 5. God has spoken to me. As a sleep began to take me, I saw amongst the coals of my fading hearth threads of fire that danced and took shape in the gloom. Brighter and brighter they burned until I could hardly stand to look at them. But I could not avert my gaze, for I knew that what I beheld was a light of heaven shining through the veil between worlds. At first, I could make no sense of what I saw. It was just a jumble of lines, blazing in the air, yet emanating no light upon their surroundings. But I had had an epiphany. These were the same shapes and symbols that I so often see glimmering in the darkness or in my dreams, applying the usual methods of interpretation. I discerned distinct shapes, as one might draw a constellation in the night sky. A cross, wreathed in flame, a many-pointed star, Latin letters, I-H-S-V, a skull with bleeding eyes and a snake for a tongue. I believe I am being warned of something. But what? The Lord does not deign to speak to his unworthy subject in simple words. I must think and pray. There is no time for sleep. I must discern the precise nature of the threat, or all is in jeopardy. Fire destroys, but also educates. Cool. You guys are pretty much done, so. Beautiful. Even more cast? Don't mind if we do. We should, must be ready for any conflict. Any conflict. Uh, fall, prepare the fallback lines, which we don't need to really do that. But we'll strike Siberia pretty much next. Come on, get some more. We want to go to war, 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 war. We have a third of a million manpower. Look at that. That is awesome. How do we get more manpower? <laughs> Monthly growth in states. Recruitable is 521, which is not bad. Even though we have a core population of 43 million. Even though we lose 380 people every month. Which actually... That makes actually a lot of sense. No wonder our population went down. Yeah, we lose 380 people. We lose 377 people now. It just turned to March. Jesus. Yeah, actually... If this is the case, we're actually losing population. 43.74... Oh, monthly growth in states. Look at that. Civilian minus 22.56 thousand. 43.74. Is our population actually going up or... So this one will give us 20%, 30%, 40%. We are at the 18th hour. So we should have more than enough to be able to go ahead and go to war if we really wanted to. Uh, grab some better artillery, advanced artillery. I love advanced artillery. 40 days, very nice. We have so much political power now, wow. 1.3. Prepare for war production. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter to me. I wish we could invest more in this stuff, but we can't. Consider destiny. I think we're doing pretty well in the 18th hour. Not bad. Map power goes down a little bit more. Yeah, Tab, already has 300 political power. God dang. We don't have that many national spirits either. Towards absolute purity. Uh, we're still slowly becoming more Burgundian. We're only 53, almost 54%. Not enough. Oh, the war support went down too. War heroes being killed. Whoa. Journal entry. For thy iniquity hath taught my mouth. Thy mouth, and thou in imitatest the tongue of the blasphemers. Job 15.5 Scheming vile Jewish rats. I am afflicted by every curse and manner of treachery from hell's own pits. I have been blind, foolish beyond measure, but now I see, for God has imparted a great gift to me. As I prayed, I heard the voice speaking in tongues forgotten to all but God. Its power burned my very soul. I feel acid dripping in my eye. Barbed wire dragging through my veins, but my devotion transcends pain. I, I was sticking to the edge of the abyss, and I have learned. When the fever, fever of Revelation passed, I was slumped against the freezing gold of the altar, sweat drenching my trembled form, but the sights and glory of the power has been shown to me. Now when I close my eyes and think back, I can see myself soaring into the azure vaults of heaven, my fingers skimming the golden clouds. I know now as I thought I knew before, but never truly did, that God himself has infused me with his light. 
I radiate it. As though my innards were alight with blazing phosphorus, I can concentrate and see the depth of corruption in a man's heart. When I beheld the attendant priest, I saw that his form was teeming with hellish maggots, the rod of Satan and Zionism manifesting upon his flesh. I yearned to reach out with my bare hands and drag up fistfuls of black tar from the bottom of his soul, but the strength in his arms was born of hell itself. Again and again, I struck him with my holy scepter of office, pummeling that insectoid skull until the screaming stopped. The blood of the wicked once more stained my hands in these very pages, a sacrifice, a sanctified offer to God. I made a holocaust of the sinner's body, felt God's blessings cleanse my soul of turbulence. Now I pray, I pray for him to impart further visions to me, to sear his glory into my weathered skin. Amen, amen, amen. Oh, man. Oh, that poor guy. But regardless, he deserved it, right? He totally did, totally. Extracting more resources from the world. Cool. Mm, let's grab some more rubber. Nice. Wow, now we only have a quarter million manpower. Um, I don't like this. Hey, we're actually mobilizing a little bit more, maybe. 43.73. I think our manpower is... Yeah, our population is dying. Um, Dabby, please. Dabby, please. Mm -hmm. uh, even more artillery. Beautiful. Let's get some armor stuff done. And happy May 1st. Let's get some more south attack and piercing. Why not? Alright, Strike Siberia. No, we can do our destiny. 65% when we're almost there. Second Night of the Long Knives. Cool. Life does not forgive weakness. No, it does not. Strike Siberia. We're moving in immediately. Well, as soon as we possibly can. In about a month. It is fine with us to reunify the motherland. Cool. The last war. We've been preparing for this, but it seems like the Siberian Socialist Republic, Socialist Republic has been too. And the fact that forces have been concentrating heavily on their borders these past few days, and everyone can see the writing on the walls. Only two forces remain in Russia. The war that is to come shall be the long and bloody, but the triumph one will be the force to unify our people once and for all. We can only hope that it is us. No, we don't need to hope. God is on our side. God will see his work done on Earth through us. Hey, 12 billion in terms of debt, not bad. I can slash construction spending and probably civilian spending actually cut it down even more, so it's not bad. Proportional cost of GDP, 26%, not bad. But actually, you know what? First of all, I will be right back. All right, everyone, in the journal entry again. The days of visitation are come, the days of repairing are come. Know ye, O Israel, that the prophet was foolish, a spiritual man was mad for the multitude of thy iniquity and the multitude of thy madness, Hosea 9.7. One was unfortunately indisposed recently. It appears that I was taken ill. I have little recollection for the past several days, and my physician is insistent that I rest. Treasonous talk, absolutely treasonous. Of course, it's not treason that what what you are writing. I had to sleep for a time. The night and dream were long. There were no lights. The sky eluded me, though I searched long for its silken weave. Becoming harder to piece the lines together, it seems it's meaningless, you fool. I don't understand. I can't read the lines. The coals of darkness are the gleaming altar. All lie cold and empty. It's cold. So, so cold. And we are now ready to go to war. And we shall deliver hellfire upon these godless Bolsheviks. And we've already won our first couple battles. We've killed off 6,000. We've already lost 1,000 ourselves. So, no matter. No matter the cost, we shall prevail. Actually, where, is, where are their armies? Uh, we've got to obviously get uh, Irkutsk. 20th hour, picking up speed forwards. I don't know why I thought that was only 12 hours. Midnight is usually the 24th hour, but you know, that's just me. Or maybe the beginning of the hours, really. Go, 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 before things fall apart. Nice. I've lost 5,000, even though our population... It was 43.73. It's 43.69. We are losing population, confirmed. We're still mobilizing more, so... 69, basically 1,000. Nice. Oh, we've already killed a few divisions. Look at that. Oh, man. they See, Bolsheviks. This is why they lost the Great War against the Germans. Pathetic. Absolutely Pathetic. Actually, do they even have this cord? They do. Okay, let's see if they have this area cord for now. I wish we had more manpower so I could force the attack. Oh, yes. Yeah. Strike them down. 93,000 dead. They still have way more divisions, divisions than us. Doesn't matter. Their population will die. Either now, like, through fighting us, or 
through what we have to do to them when we're done here. Of course, then again, it does help if you have air superiority. Uh, we're only doing one damage, though, which is not much. If that's the case, we might consider building up another air base around here, maybe, just in case. Just just, just in case. And you know what? We could spend, you know what? spend more on the military. Force the attack even harder. More attack, more defense, more everything. Fighting through Russia kind of sucks. Not going to lie, kind of sucks. Population still mobilizing a little bit more. Surprised that we're actually doing that, but I'll take it. Effective total manpower modified 86%. Of course, part of that is 12% from the military budget boost. We got some early top loaders, so that our tanks can hit even harder. Even more soft attack police with heat integration or high explosive anti tank warheads. Thank you. Thank you. Iran has fallen apart. The Re Iranian Revolutionary Alliance collapses. Fill then to the abyss. We shall cast thee. The Lord give thee dust for rain upon thy land, and let ashes come down from heaven upon thee thou, till thou be consumed. Deuteronomy 28 24. Something is wrong. I can't hear him. It was so recently that I heard the choirs of heaven reverberating within my skull. I would wake to the sounds of angels, but no longer. Now I awake to the creaking of the bed, brought by the, my thrashing in this round in this sleep. I hear no songbird, no crackling of the fire, no quiet illicit conversations between the guards who keep watch outside my door. There is only silence. There is only the cold ash in the hearth. When I open the window, I hear the howling wind and the distant thrum of factories. It does not feel the emptiness in my soul. It sickens me. Countless times have I tried to bear it, there always ends the same way. With the blessed regent of the Holy Russian Empire hunched over his privy, voiding his stomach until nothing comes up but searing bile, then, once the heaving and choking stops, silence. Silence and the creeping dread that trickles down my spine like ice water when I turn my mind to the Empire. Do I fear my creation? Advance to the next stage. Doesn't even matter, we're going to just take all this stuff. It's cool. The 21st hour. Oh no. But oh yes. Camarova, a third of a million have died under the watch. And a third million more will as well. Any uh, other upgrades? Level 4, 6, 3. Not bad. Factory wise, we're doing very, very well still. 90% good enough. And then the Lord said, Make a lot of consumer factories. At least that's what I think he said. Alright, uh, no, 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 right there. There we go. Loads of consumer factories. Rubber processing, not bad. 14 billion in terms of annual deficit, not bad either. More resource efficiency gain? Because we can. Beautiful. Now, I don't know how far we have to go to capitulate these guys. But we, they basically almost have the exact same number of divisions as we do. And we're just smashing through their numbers right now. Holy cow. We have definitely quadrupled their size of their industry. So, it requires nuclear weaponry. I wonder who gave them nuclear weaponry. Now they've lost over a million manpower. I guess, I suppose, for them, it is better for them to die in the fields of battle than what we're about to do to them as well. So, policy attack. They don't need life where they're going. Not at all. Especially when we get more divisions. If that's the case, we can stop making these divisions. Yeah, I can stop doing that one. Wow, that manpower. Oof, 2.3%. Wow, that is... <laughs> we have less manpower, even though we're mobilizing a little bit more. My goodness. Irkutsk, if we can get to Irkutsk, that would be great. Your goal is to get to the Pacific. Go, go, go. Are you not winning, comrade? Comrade. Hmm. Consumer goods, 29. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 full lines of 20 out of 20 factories all blazing on production. Journal entry, whereas I reigned over many nations and have brought all the world under my dominion, I was not willing to abuse the greatest of my power, but to govern my subjects with clemency and lenity, that they might live quietly without any terror and might enjoy peace which is desired by all men. Esther 13.2 Shtimoviki performance is faltering. They reported only 3,482 confirmed kills in the last month. One knows, through the numbers that one sees amidst the sky, and that there remains many more undesirables yet to be removed. The Tsar of Alexei's foremost defenders have become so indolent and ineffective that is most concerning. Spare the rod, spoil the child. So it is often said that we are not all God's children. Discipl disciplinary measures will be intensified and carried out more regularly. Decimation comes to mind. Civilian anti-Jew measures have been more fruitful. Promises of a financial reward are powerful incentive. German methods at work once more effective as ever. The search for Osavich, Alexei, proceeds as usual. Leads are scarce. Only I can perceive the sky and it is difficult to communicate its messages to lesser men still yet hope yet lives. 
My hand is steady. My mind is intact. I am not insane. <laughs> cool. What do we say? Uh, however, I think we read that one before as well. So, that's okay. Crush them. Oh, wow. The war support's not very good. Whatever. It doesn't matter. We must cleanse the world in holy hellfire. Glory be to God. Hey, basic jet fighters. About two-thirds of a million have died in the fields of battle. At least in terms of military casualties. Speaking of other casualties, we have no idea, but we only assume that they can be greater and greater. Oh, we actually need a lot more infantry equipment. I did not realize that. Well, if that's the case, we can lower this by five then. Heat integration, good. Something happened else. Even more stuff to tech, please. That'd be very bueno. Very good. Yeah, I didn't realize we were out of guns. And so oh, support equipment too. That's not good. Uh, I mean, we are attacking like a bunch of crazy people. Yeah, it makes sense. There you go. Uh, I suppose we can lower this by five for now. By another five. There you go. We can lower this by ten, actually, so we can get some more support equipment too going this way eventually. Tank-wise, we're doing pretty well. I'm going to lower this by 5, so we can make some more support equipment. Military budget boost. Now we're probably going to be losing even more manpower. Yep. Slowly losing more and more manpower. But then again, we've killed off so many enemy divisions, it does not matter anymore. Come. Come and go. Three quarters of a million have died, yet we've lost not even 100,000. Okay, thanks. You are disappointing the Lord. Urkutsk. It's been so long since I've seen you. Another division. That is the last division we will make for now. We must save manpower, resources, supplies. For the Lord is coming soon, journal entry. And it let the fear and dread of you be upon all beasts of the earth. And upon all the fowls of the air, that at all may move upon the earth. All the fishes of the sea are delivered into your hands. Genesis 9-2. So, Avisha Luxi, where are you? Blessed child, can you hear my prayers? I've done so much in your name. I've defied the Jews, the Bolsheviks, and the forces of hell itself. How many lives, subhumans, traitors, and heathens have I crushed under the iron heel of the Regency? How many sacrifices have I piled up on the altar? I truly do not know. Please, my blessed prince, if you will not hear my voice, then you see my words. See them and know that your people are ready for you. Your throne stands gilded and draped in purple cloth for you to assume power and rule Holy Russia in perpetuity. Please, don't leave us alone here. Please, don't let this all be for nothing. Oh, well, crud. Have we taken Irkutsk? Where's Irkutsk? Oh, it's right there. Cool. Go, 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 go. We've got it. Their capital's fallen. Their division's utterly smashed to bits. They try resounding attack? Not today. Drive onwards. Drive, drive, drive. Bratsk? Nope. Obviously, this is a very long video, but since this is the final episode in the, in the campaign, might as well make it a little longer. I'll, oh, wait, the 11th hour. The heralds call to clear the way for our enlightenment. I thought we were the 21st and the 22nd, but okay. Why not? Only 412 factories? That's not enough. Someone, please whip the slaves harder so we can uh, get more done. Only 11.16, huh? Oh, you got in circle. That sucks. Guys, guys, are you are you even trying? Well, these guys, no matter what happens, they are still moving forward. They shall move forward until they hit Chumacan. Oh, they're so close. 91% of the way there. 800,000 enemies have died, and it's still not enough. Force the attack. These guys are weak enough. Just kill them off if you can. They have less than probably 10 divisions now. No. You attack, attack, attack until they die and perish. Just help them out. They're pathetic. Armor. Breakthrough. Yes, please. Come 
Come on, come on. Why are you stopping? He said, Let me die with the Philistines. And when he had strongly shook the pillars, the house fell upon all the princes and the rest of the multitude that was there. And he killed many more of his death that he had killed before in his life. Judas 16, or Ju Judges 16.30. Treason, how have I not seen it in every sinking corner of this godforsaken place? Yes, godforsaken, for God has damned Russia. He has damned it, consigned it to burn in hell. The Tsavich is to rule over the dust and ashes, it seems. He has cursed me. He gave me sight. Pry the scales from my eyes, not only so that I may behold a blasted wasteland. Russia is a land of the Nod. And I, I am Cain. I have killed and ordered killings. The rivers of blood have been spilt in my name. Hundreds die every month for no tangible gain. The only thing that keeps me alive is the knowledge that Alexei is out there somewhere. Is it even knowledge? Am I truly doubting this? I can't, I can't, I can't. He lives as he must. Where is he? Okay, seriously, I don't, I'm not sure what these guys are doing now at this point. This is pathetic. Go. Go. Drive forward. You have more than enough equipment. More than enough gumption. Go. For the love of God, just go. <laughs> Come on, seriously. This takes too long to capitulate them. We've already taken the capital. We've taken so much from them. And yet, it is still not enough. How is it not enough? They shall not live. No, no. A thousand times no. Go, drive, drive, drive. And we're out of manpower. Holy crap. That's, 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 oh, of course. Hey. Do we finally do it? We have done it, my friends. We have conquered all of the Russia that we can conquer. We've got some manpower back, too. Okay, stop lagging, game. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Reunify the motherland, my friends. The Holy Russian Empire. Ever since the collapse of the USSR, some of you speculated the return of the monarchism to Russia was inevitable. Nobody, however, could ever expect it to arrive in its current form. Tabaretsky, self-proclaimed blessed regent of all Russia, has led its forces to victory over all the challenges and established a unified Russian government for the first time in nearly 30 years. Uh, blah, 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 blah. The new state is still a mere regency. Tabaretsky claims to be acting on the behalf of the long-dead Tsarevich Alexei Romanov, the son of Nicholas II. The claim that Romanov is still alive has been widely propagated by the regency, but no international observers is believed to be substantiated. The new Russian Empire is reportedly a thing of nightmares. A truly aut autocracy in the Russian tradition combined with the radicalism or racialism and totalitarian methodology of the Burgundian system. God save Russia, for no one else can. Hail the nightmare! Flat lustitia et permeata mundus. The eleventh hour. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So, I was waiting for the music to stop. But, we can't go to war with anyone else. But, what, what happens when the clock strikes midnight? You know, this video's gone long enough. We must check out what happens. As we're integrating all these places. Even though I slash spending... Hmm, we might be able to do that actually now. But what if we kept building? What if we kept building up to God? What if we did that instead? Build? This is one of the few campaigns where I almost never even clicked on like the reserves button to like put in more reserves, so this is very weird for me. Build, build, build. Yeah, I want to see what the 24th hour has for us. 23rd hour, come on. Let's just zoom in. And admire... Rex Commissar at Muscovine. How is Muscovine? Nord Moscow? And Moscow. What is... Uh, the, what is it? Bormen? Yeah, what is Bormen up to? Non-aggression pact with the Swedes. Das Entscheidungsnetzwerk. Civilian spending factor. Not bad. Not bad. The soft hand. He still has content, even though we are pretty much done with our content. Which is totally fine. Less than 9 billion. Yeah, we could definitely cut our budget down more and more and more. But we're not there yet. We must build greater, bigger. The general entry. I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end of Revelation 22:13. He is here. I can sense him, but he does not speak. He speak to me. Speak to me. What was it for, if not for you? I am God's vessel. I am your subject. I am the salvation of Russia. I am not a Jew. I am not Cain. I only did what you asked of me, Nabokov. Had I known it would lead to this, I stop that infernal noise. Stop the clock. Clock. Stop. 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 Tick tock. Tick tock. Oh man, there's never enough to get, never enough to guide. The clock has struck midnight. It has come. God be with us. Ink sputtered and splattered across the pages. Tabarski scrawled away. His hand trembled as though afflicted with a palsy. Sweat ran down his face in streams, darkening the blood crusted and ink-stained paper. His eyes were bloodshot and weepy. He had not slept in days. He no longer sat at his desk. It was 
too near the window where God could peer down from the heavens to look upon him with shame. Instead, he was curled up in a corner, back at King's, feverishly scribbling. He stared straight ahead, hands moving on their own. He hadn't written anything resembling a word in a week. There was a sound, a scuffling of boots on the marble. The regent glanced up and felt his heart freeze. His pen clattered to the floor. He tried to stand, but his legs were like lead. He stumbled to his knees. As he dragged himself towards, he felt the strength begin to drain from his arms. A pounding began to thrum in his head, a pain like no other, but he pressed forward. How long, or how for how, could any man not be enraptured by the presence of a tsar? His dark hair was cropped short beneath his golden crown. He wore a cape of emeron, ermine, and was bedecked in golden jewels. He looked older than the region had expected, but shone with the light of the heaven. An immortal sovereign for the Holy Russian Empire. Tabersky opened his mouth to speak, to question, to marvel. But... The words would not come to him. The divine grace of his monarch was overpowering, paralyzing his entire body. Every muscle had turned to stone. He blinked and utterly uttered a scream. Bones, a small skull with a bullet hole in it. Scraps of the fine royal clo clothing, clothing stained with old blood were laid over them. The scream turned to a choking gurgle as a pain exploded inside his head, blacking out of his senses. He collapsed, staring in horror into the darkness around him. And Sergei Tabrutsky, blessed regent of Holy Russia, breathed his last. The thread is severed. Sergei Tabrutsky dies, becomes... Leader of the Burgundian system, the Silent Regent. Oh, crap. Oh, God, he's animated now. Uh, recruitable population factor goes up by 50% more. Daily Burgundian system. Oh, things are going to collapse. Things are going to collapse with him dead. Oh, my goodness. We even re get recruitable population minus 12. We have six. We have 60 million people. Wow. Wow. Um, I'm getting more political power. Consider destiny. Midnight is struck. Well, I'm glad we did this before he, he died. Uh, GDP. Obviously, we could actually really fix this up if we really, really wanted to, but there's no point to since this is the end of the campaign. Um, I guess we could do this. Oh, stability is minus 10%. That's all. Cool. However, there is one event, like I said, uh, if you want to read this, go right ahead. Uh, event that someone asked me to do in this campaign at the very end. So, time for the console command because we are done here. Event. What was it? Dot 6666? No, was it Rust dot 6666? No, I can't remember. I will be right back to show you guys. All right, my apologies. I just had to combine. What was it event rus dot six 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 six? Execute order six 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 six. In which, basically, this is what ultimately happens when I'm pretty sure Tabarisky dies. Everything falls apart to the wayside, and basically, the Holy Russian Empire. Well, as you can see from the, the what happens when we click on that event, which I just did. Things completely fall apart with whatever bodies are left from Tabarisky's wild, wild ride. If you'd like to skip ahead, don't need to, because we're here. This is very weird. Now, everything is falling apart, basically. Oh, and Tabarisky's back. Oh, that kind of ruined it, but that's fine. Because that would happen eventually. Oh, and we have our focus view again, but, you know, whatever. So, we have, basically, the nation's back. Sictive car, of course. Wait. But... Okay, then, whatever. Sped loss. So, basically, everything falls apart. And someone wanted me to try that event out in the game. But regardless, I hope you enjoyed the campaign. Tab, Tab was definitely a wild, wild ride. And we saw him kind of go crazy. But I hope you enjoyed it regardless. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.